Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters in Ashraf 3, uh, I salute you warmly. Let me say that I thank very much the speakers who took the floor before me, and I'm not going to repeat the legal issues that they addressed. I'm just going to share with you probably what I would call a testimony, uh, reporting to you exactly my experience in a very short way, because I hope that Professor Jawed Rahman will benefit from what I went through myself. Uh, as you know, the UNAMI mission in Iraq was established under Chapter 7. That means I was privileged to have access everywhere. And I had access to Ashraf, Ashraf 1, I would call it, without any limitations. At the time that civil society, lawyers, doctors were prevented from entering the camp. So in this sense, I was a witness of all kinds of abuses and crimes that happened against my extended family living today in Ashraf Tree. What I lived in Ashraf and in Iraq in general was very painful. And uh, my mission at the time was reduced to do the body count of the victims. And that's what prom prompted my resignation from the United Nations. After resigning from the United Nations, I went to Washington, and Ambassador Broomfield was with me when I appeared before the Congress. And I shared with them a small part of my experience in Iraq. And after that meeting, at the Congress, I received a letter from the legal department, for the legal uh, affairs department of the United Nations in New York. And literally, they were asking me to shut up. They told me to put up or shut up. And I did reply. I said to them, I will not put up and I will not shut up. That letter is on my file at the United Nations. And I also hold the copy of my reply to them. I said, see you in court. Of course, they didn't dare to take me to court. <laughs> but uh, as I promised, I will not shut up. So, I met every special rapporteur on the human rights situation in Iran, from Ahmed Shahid to Asma Jahangir and to 
our friend here, Javid Rahman. And, and I tell you, I have never asked them to do anything. All I did say that um, I stand ready to share my experience with you. And I also always warned that as special reporters, they will be eventually approached by people from all horizons, including the regime uh, officers. So the special rapporteur, some of them are very vulnerable. Others show resistance. And I thank very much Professor Javid Rahman, who had showed a lot of courage. He has done a, an excellent job that goes into the history. And his uh, impartiality, his objectivity, will make people think twice before they approach him because he is not somebody that one could easily twist his hand. But I would like, again, to say to Professor Javid Rahman that what he did is appreciated by all peace and justice lovers in the world. You will never be on your own. You will have friends all over the world. And thank you very much.